Okay, uh, Eco 701. Now we move on to lecture 10. Okay, then we have to open slides 12, and then uh, there are two PDF files. The first one is the academic writing guide. I think I have opened this file before, so I think we are going to use it again for this lecture. And again, as I mentioned before, if there is only limited time uh, available from your side, then rather focus on the yellow highlighted text in the document. And then for the next one, UWC Thesis Guide, it is also a long document, 50 pages. So again, if you are under any tight time pressure, then again, focus on what I have highlighted in yellow in the document. Okay, so maybe these are quite old uh, documents from the research office from like 15 or 20 years ago. They are still very, very good readings and still relevant even nowadays. Okay, so I can open the, this one I also want to open the UWC research paper template. So when you have time, you can go through that. Okay, the research paper template, we have a cover page, then you have to provide your information, like your research paper title, your name, student number, your supervisor, and obviously November is usually the submission month, declaration that you have never submitted this work elsewhere. Abstract one page maximum, but when it comes, to, remember earlier I said for the research proposal, your abstract, if it is half a page, it is enough. But when it comes to the research long essay, you have to expand the abstract further to one page maximum because you are expected to insert maybe two or three paragraphs to highlight the key empirical findings and then the keywords and then the JEL code. Remember from one of the very early lectures, I talk about the JEL code. Acknowledgement, this is the least important session. You can leave it until the end. Are there any people you want to thank? Table of contents, you must watch the uh, YouTube videos. I think six, 15 to 20, something like that. Uh, then I would explain how to automatically create a table of contents. And list of abbreviation, please sort in alphabetical order. Unfortunately, for this session, there's no shortcut. You have to type the list of abbreviation. And then list of tables, list of figures. There is a way to ask Microsoft Word to automatically create the two, the two lists without uh, us needing to do manual typing. And again, please watch the relevant YouTube videos. Just follow the explanation on the lecture speech notes or the study guides, then you would know which videos to watch. Then this is the structure of chapter one. Chapter two, remember we talked about subsessions before for key concepts, theories, review of past empirical studies. So you can also have subsessions actually. Okay, chapter three, okay, I'm not going to continue. You have to insert the uh, session title. Remember chapter three is about methods, data, limitation. Chapter four, uh, assuming your research topic involves empirical data analysis, you should have a descriptive statistics session and the econometric, session, econometric analysis session. Chapter five, you have to provide a brief summary review of the key highlights or I mean the key findings of your empirical analysis. And you must conclude with a session which talks about policy recommendation, economic policy recommendation, even suggestion for further research in future. And then reference. Appendix. I haven't talked about appendix yet. If there are any tables or figures which you think are relatively less important, secondary, supplementary, but you don't think they should feature in the main text, but at the same time, you don't want to completely delete them. You still feel like that they should feature somewhere, although they are secondary, less important information, then you can put all these relatively less important tables and figures in the appendix. Okay, so appendix is strictly speaking, the last session of your research essay right after the reference list. Okay. And then for this one, your research report, I actually already talked about the research report structure from the word document I went through just now. Okay, 
for this figure. This is what you did in the first term, pre-writing phase, the planning. Remember, we learned a lot of skills like uh, concept map, the C map tools, how to draw a mind map, some reading skills, uh, note-taking skills. Remember the Cornell note-taking template? Then you move on to the writing phase, okay? You have to write up the research proposal, end of term one, and then during term two, the literature review essay or the chapter two of your uh, final long essay. And then in the third and the fourth term, you focus on the uh, research essay, the long research essay, and then post writing phase, the editing. I think you probably leave it until maybe the last two weeks of October. Although usually the first week of November is the due date of your final long essay, I wouldn't recommend you to finish it in the last second. Maybe aim for plus or minus 15th of October. Then you still have about three weeks to do some editing, final checking. So this is my recommendation. The structure of the research report, I already mentioned that previously when I uh, go when I went through the word file. So I will pause just for five seconds here. Title page, I also, I also discussed uh, a while ago, so I'm not going to waste time on that. Declaration, I also mentioned that earlier. Abstract, remember I said earlier one page maximum when it comes to the research report or the final research essay. And then this is the proposed structure of your one page abstract. Acknowledgement, I'm going to skip Okay, the people you want to thank. Table of contents, as I mentioned earlier, I will give you more hints in some of the videos. And again, just to repeat one more time, list of abbreviations. There's no shortcut. You have to type the list of abbreviations. Chapter one, some suggestions and proposed structure. So I will pause for 30 seconds for you to go through this self-explanatory slide. Chapter 2, Literature Review, we remember the three core areas, definition of key concepts, theories, and review of past empirical studies. And remember one of the earlier lectures talked about succession. You can have successions by chronological order, by theory, school of thought, by theme, by hypothesis, by case studies, and by method. If you no longer remember these things, please refer back to the earlier lecturing material. And then finally, for Chapter 2, I also mentioned before that if you have valid reasons, you can include a session called Legislative Framework, especially for studies in labor economics. Chapter 3, Methods and Data, this is the proposed structure. Remember I mentioned earlier in one of the lectures that there are certain questions you have to answer regarding the data sets. And limitation, just this is optional, just in case you really think there is a need to have a limitation session. Chapter 4, Empirical Findings. These are the two key sessions, Descriptive Stats and Econometric Analysis. Slide number 14 is very important. Okay, I will pause for one minute for you to go through that. And then I actually provide some examples of each bullet in the lecture speech notes. But let me pause for one minute for you to go through this slide. Okay, then we can go to the lecture speech notes. 
Actually, for each bullet, I provide an example. It is very self-explanatory. So um, I don't think I need to verbally say anything, but I will pause for one minute for you to go through these five bullets. Okay, and then let's go back to the PowerPoint slides. Chapter five, conclusion. Conclusion. So, so what from the research findings? So, this is the pro pro structure of chapter five. We still have a lecture coming up soon that focuses on chapter five. So, these are this is the pro pro structure. You have an introduction, then a session to review the findings. Key summary. Okay, make it brief actually. So you are allowed to repeat the key empirical findings here in 5.2, but please make the paragraphs or, or the summary very brief. Then 5.3 is actually the key session, conclusion, recommendations in terms of economic policies and then identify areas for further research in future. Okay, and then this slide is self-explanatory, slide number 16. So keep in mind about the policy implications, bullet. Okay. References, I think we had a lecture long, long time ago back in the first term. I don't think I need to talk about the reference list anymore. Just to remind you, please arrange the sources. I mean the reference list in alphabetical order. Appendix, I already talked about appendix earlier to present the relatively less important information. And then, and then tables and figures. Remember my hint, my suggestion would be that the table should not be too tax intensive. Okay. And then when you have the tables full of uh, numerical data, then in the actual written paragraphs, you don't need to talk about every single figure in the table. Just focus on the important ones to emphasize in the written paragraphs. But we are going to go through some past students' examples in the, in, in the, in the next lecture. So you should not worry about it. Graphs, remember you learn how to plot graphs with Excel, eViews, and Starter. And I want to see pretty graphs, actually. I don't want to see the messy graphs in your research essay. And some suggestions on the table, self-explanatory. Uh, figures, avoid 3D figures. For serious research report, we usually don't use 3D figures. It is too much. And then some writing skills, writing tips, actually. So this slide is self-explanatory. And then some other further writing hints, actually, on words, sentences, and paragraphs. Okay, I think this is also a self-explanatory slide. I think I can skip this slide. Okay, this is... The last slide, I want to talk about the maintain the golden thread, actually, about the ideas flowing smoothly from session to session, from chapter to chapter. And this is the reason why I suggest you to finish the whole research essay by middle of October. Then you still have three weeks to go through it like at least two or three more times. Let's say you can't afford paying a professional proofreader to edit your, your pages, then you can be your own editor check the grammar, spelling, and punctuation, and improve the writing further. Some suggestion on gender sensitivity. You slash he or she, or maybe insert a footnote in chapter one.
linking words I already discussed in one of the earlier lectures. I provided you a table, and then I think that's it for.